Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here. Today we are going to make another DIY from the Dollar Tree with a mixture of items from Goodwill. But anyway, thank you so much again. And yeah, let's make this awesome tree, tabletop tree that um, we can put on our side table or if you have an office area, you can put that on your office. All right, so it's just for fun and I hope you like it. So let's get started. Here we go. All right, so with this project, what we need is a jute candle holder actually mine i got this one from goodwill and it's 50 cents a piece skewers is that how you say it skewers <laughs> okay a scissors and yes from the dollar tree doilies all right and of course when you receive anything from you know when you have a package and somehow you get this one you don't need very much of this, but at least something to hold our skewers. I got this one as well at the Dollar Tree. I can't remember the name of this, but you can find this at the Dollar Tree. A glue gun and... Oh yeah, I forgot. A base filler. We are going to use this star. Alright, I put them in my Ziploc bag, so... So I think that's it, let's get started. All right, first what we are going to work on is our tea light candle holder. So we are going to cover this with a jute and all the way halfway in this um, jar, okay? So what I do is I start with a tiny fold like this, just a tiny fold enough to fold it and then goes like this and just turn it around and you put a dab of glue in your little jar down here so just make sure you are in the middle as well or in the center of your jar okay so start like that gluing it and as you can see they are in the middle of that bottom of the tea light candle. They were in the middle centered, okay? And then you just have to glue them all over. Okay, so let's get into gluing. This one will take time and I'm going to take this one faster, okay? All right, so once you reach to this end of this bottom of the jar, all you have to do is just follow along that edge of the jar and just keep going. All right, I think that's it. All I have to do is just cut them in here and stop there and then glue the end. All right. There you go. So it should look like this. Pretty. 
Thank you. All right, so that's it. Next, we are going to grab our, this one, like, you know, those styrofoams that came in the mail, somehow when you have packages. So what you do is you poke this with the skewers in it. We we'll just poke this one just like so. And see that end? All you have to do is you just have to put a glue in it. We do this one because we want that stick to be balanced. And it's not going to be dancing around inside. All right. There you go. So it should look like that. And you won't be able to see it either. So it should look like that okay next is you are going to fill this one with this okay and just trim what's hanging out All right, so it should look like that, super clean. All right, since this one is ready and good to go, we are going to cut our doilies. All right, so now we are going to use the whole set of this doilies. This is a multi-pack with a, from the largest, larger, medium size, and the smallest, okay? So we are going to use this whole four of layers of doilies, okay? So first, you can start anywhere from small to the largest. All you have to do is just make a crease in the middle, just a little crease in the middle, just like that, and fold it. Just a tiny little crease in the middle, okay? So you know where to cut and where to end in that little center. If you can see what I'm talking about. After that, you can start cutting. You just have to cut two grooves. So one, two. Let me put this one away so you can see it better. All right, so what we are going to cut is we're going to cut two grooves. So one, two so just two grooves all right so it is two grooves one okay let me show you better one two so just two grooves of that doily okay now you do the rest it doesn't matter how many you want you want it thicker thinner or somehow i kind of like want to use at least three of them or somehow a little bit thicker so i'm going to use three there should be one in here so it should be three and I'm just going to keep going, fold it, make a crease in the middle, and then fold it again. Just make a crease here in the center so you know where to end on your scissors. So cut. So one, two. So it is three, I use three, okay? And let's keep it going. All right, so I also do the same way on the largest one, so two grooves as well. 
All right, so as you can see, there is a groove on this doilies. One groove or one edge and this one. We are going to meet this like so, just like that. So they are more even at the same time, okay? So it should look like that. So it's like a pizza, you meet them together just like so. And put a glue in it. All right, so they are all ready. So first, we are going to start to the largest one, okay? All you have to do is you can tell on how far or how low you want your tree first layer would be. So you can also see it by the way how your jar is going to be showing. Just like that so all you have to do is you can arrange it like so how you want it and I want mine I always estimate everything guys so I hope it will work out so we'll see so you just have to hold it until they dry off There you go, so they're looking super pretty now. Look at that. And all I have to do is I'm going to put the star, this vase filler. I got the star down here and I'm going to put this on the top. And I kind of like to cut or trim that stick in there because it's too long for it. So I just use this cutter down here There you go and I just cut it and I will make a mark on the star here so the stick will know where to go. So it's kind of like helping it out as well. All right, now here we go, moment of truth. All right, so there is our there you go. I'll show you the closer look of this one, okay guys? that's it that was super fun and easy and i hope you enjoyed watching my channel and if you have any suggestion for me to make let me know leave a comment down below down there at the comments bar and yes if you're not subscribed on my channel yet please do subscribe and i would really appreciate it and thank you so much for coming by again and see you soon and you have an awesome day